Merchant shipping is the lifeblood of the world economy carrying around 19% of the international world trade. The skilled labor force of seafarers is responsible to maintain and operate the ships for the transportation of goods from one port to another. As with any operation involving humans, this too is a great cause of waste production. To understand how much human sewage is generated by ships, we can do a simple calculation. Approximately 54,000 merchant ships are plying all over the world. The number of crew on board ships may vary from 15 to 25 persons. Let's take the upper limit, that is 25 persons. Now, an average human being produces 90 litres of sewage waste per day. If we do the simple math with the available data, we will get this huge number showing the total sewage production by merchant ships in one day. The untreated sewage will contaminate the water bodies such as lakes, rivers and the sea, so it is necessary to have regulations for sewage treatment and its management. The regulation for sewage waste is dictated by MARPOL Annex 4. To ensure ships do not pollute the open oceans from the human-generated sewage waste, there are strict measures and equipments provided on board ships. One such critical environmental protection equipment is the sewage treatment plant. As per MARPOL Annex 4, the sewage generated on board ships can be divided into the following types, grey water and black water. In black water, the following human waste is included, feces, urine water and toilet paper from flush toilets. Grey water consists of discharges from the galley, bath and shower water as well as wastewater from lavatory sinks, laundry and water fountains. The revised annex applies to ships engaged in international voyages of 400 gross tonnage and above or which are certified to carry more than 15 persons. The annex requires ships to be equipped with either an approved sewage treatment plant or approved sewage commuting and disinfecting system or a sewage holding tank. The basic principle of a sewage treatment plant working is the breakage of raw sewage which is further disintegrated and then it is treated with chemicals and disinfectant before pumping them out at sea. The most common type of sewage treatment plant used on board ships is the hybrid type where a combination of biological and chemical processes is used. The biological part takes care of the filtration, sedimentation, aeration and settling. While the chemical part of the process adds activated carbon to it, does the chlorination and dechlorination of the processed sewage before discharging it out to sea. The following are the components of the sewage treatment plant. The hybrid type sewage treatment plant on ships is divided into four chambers. It is fitted with a screen filter in the first chamber, which is the sedimentation chamber, followed by the aeration chamber, which is connected to the settling chamber and both are divided by the demister. The last chamber is the chlorination chamber, where activated carbon and chlorine are added to the treated sewage. The basic principle of the working of a biological treatment plant is the decomposition of raw sewage. The black water is introduced in the first chamber via screen filters. Then it is passed to the aeration chamber where aerating of the sewage with fresh air takes place. The aerobic bacteria survive on this fresh air and decompose the raw sewage which can be disposed of in the sea. The air supply is done using a blower which continuously runs and supplies the air. After the aeration chamber, it goes to the settling chamber where unbroken sewage settles down and is sent back to the aeration chamber. And broken sewage is sent to the chlorination chamber for final treatment and discharge. The grey water is then introduced in the last chamber, that is, the chlorination chamber. If you want to watch more such videos on maritime topics, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.